I bet when I land, they gon' tell me it's lucky. Can't see that I'm winning, it's harder to watch. I'm setting the stage, you should give me my props. You ain't got no soul, you lack the spirit. You talk out your neck, I'ma show you I'm with it. I don't really hate for you to sit and watch me win again and win again and win again. I know it's probably getting on me and winning sitting So if I ever win again, it's nobody the minimum. I didn't have to so. It's 3.13 on a Monday. You know Mondays, crazy, crazy, crazy. I want to grab the camera. I want to upload more content for you guys. Subscribe, guys. Um, I have something really exciting coming and I can only start it when I hit 30,000 subscribers. So I'm really trying to get there. I, it's Monday, I'm feeling all over the place. You know, those after the weekends, you're just like, oh man, didn't get my workout in yet. I'm really hoping to get it in. I think I'm actually kind of full. I made like a middle of the day snack and it was oatmeal. I did like three quarters cup of oatmeal, which is a lot for me. And I ate most of it, most of it. I say like 80%. And I put some protein powder in it, this uh, pumpkin protein. I just, Mondays after the weekend, I had a lot of fun. We had, wow. <laughs> and my camera just died. I had to go get another battery. <laughs> Mondays, anyway. So I just kind of want to tell you guys my mindset going into Monday after a weekend of fun. So not that steak is bad for you, but we had like, I find steak really heavy. I don't like eating steak very often. Um, I'll eat lamb more often. I always want to feel good. That's at the end of my, back of my mind. Like I no longer focus on like, oh, this food will make me lose weight and this food won't because everybody is different. And if a food doesn't agree with you, then your digestion is not happy and you're not gonna get, you know, to become your like leanest, happiest, strongest self if your body's just like really unhappy, if you're having digestional, digestion issues? Wow, it's Monday, I can't speak. Anyway, major sweet tooth because I had sweets all weekend and they weren't like super unhealthy sweets. They were healthy-ish besides like healthy candy that I ate. Uh, had too many drinks, maybe three quarters of a bottle of wine on Friday, which is way more than I normally like to do. Like usually half is my limit. What happens is it disrupts my sleep. So then I have less energy the next day and I just, it just threw off my entire weekend, my, my entire weekend. And I was less active. I honestly just like coming Sunday, I felt sluggish, I felt low energy and I was like, these are the reasons why, you know, I don't like to overdo wine. I don't like to stay up too late because I wanna be able to make a decision so my, you know, my stomach is happy and move my body because movement is energy, motion is lotion, and I feel my best when I move. That being said, I only have an hour to get in this workout, so I just want to let you guys know kind of how I look at Monday after a weekend of not being the best. So I am trying not to eat desserts. That being said, like I totally will have some dark chocolate later, but not just like as many as I want, trying to do less treats throughout the day, trying to curb my sweet tooth with fruit or like oatmeal with protein powder and I added some banana and almond butter and that was like dessert-ish, but not like a real dessert, you know? So I'm just trying to keep my chocolate over 75% dark chocolate and I can make like ice cream banana smoothie, like just keeping it really nice and healthy. I also will be avoiding anything that hurts my stomach. So probably sticking to chicken or fish I also do Costco soups. I'm probably gonna do that for supper. I'm gonna link it here. I've showed it before. I do a soup and sometimes I'll add in some croutons in there or I'll do a side salad, like just some healthy Caesar salad even because yummy, you wanna enjoy your food. So maybe a soup and a salad or a soup and croutons, something like that. Probably have a glass of wine too because I don't go from A to Z, right? I'm just trying to trim off the fat and still live my best life. Anyway. So, I didn't eat all this. I made a, a disaster in my microwave. It just exploded twice. It's Monday, it's Monday. Exploded twice, I'm all over the place. I also forgot I have to feed my dog, so I'm not even gonna have time for a full workout, but something is better than nothing. I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm gonna see how fast I can get it done. And you know, 
I know that I can lift heavy and just take less breaks. Sometimes when I give myself two hours to work out, I will just like procrastinate or my breaks will be way too long. So I almost do better with like 30 to 45 minutes. I still push heavy, um, but then I just get my heart rate up more, I sweat more, and it's just an overall good workout. And honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Hopefully this battery will last. This is Zevia Pop. It's not for everyone, but I am kind of obsessed. If you can handle the aftertaste of Stevia, then you might like these. I love like club soda, fizzy water, stuff like that. Um, it just it just makes you feel more full. It makes you feel more full. I am like a, the munchiest person you'll ever meet in your life. I could eat all day, every day. Um, so sometimes I'll chew some gum or I'll have a pop because I know like I'm full. Right now if I eat more, I'm gonna have a belly ache and then I'm not gonna feel my best. So I'm good, have some, some Zevia and I'm gonna feed my dog and then work out for like 30 minutes. Let's see. I'm all about having fun, living your best life, YOLO, but if you're getting frustrated that you're not getting results, you're probably not working hard enough and you're probably eating too much crap. That's usually what it is. Unless you're one of those people that is overtraining, like, you know, too many days of the week, you're in the gym doing weights 
and you're under eating. You know, if you're not working with a coach and you're just like guessing and it's not working and you're like, there's no way I can eat less and train harder, then that means that you're overtraining, under eating. What I'm seeing more lately is like people always have an excuse, right? Or something's always coming up. If you're really serious about seeing results in the gym, then you need to make it a priority, right? So if you went out this weekend, like I just did, I had one too many drinks, it wasn't a big deal, but I was definitely tired over the weekend. So normally I would walk a lot, I'd move my body a lot, and I didn't do that. So that's not what you wanna do if you're trying to see results. Coming into this week, I know that I want to start off with a bang to kind of refocus. Because <laughs> guys, I'm not perfect. Um, you know, when I want to see results, then I'm on top of it. Doesn't mean I'm under eating, I'm fueling my body. Like today, I ate a ton of good carbs. I'm just trying to stay away from processed foods, but I know I have to fuel my body, give myself a lot of nutrients so I feel good, so I can lift heavy ass weight. When you lift heavy weight, you're gonna boost your metabolism, build lean muscle, which will make you leaner in time. Because if you just do cardio, you're burning calories, burning calories, and then you're like starving. If you're like me, you're so hungry afterwards that you just end up overeating. So then like you're never, you never see the progress that you want to see because it feels like, okay, well, I ate all that food. Now I need to do more cardio. I ate all that food. I didn't need to do more cardio. And that's why I love weight so much is because when you eat food, it fuels your body and it, well, I mean, it fuels your body for cardio too, but it kind of replenishes your muscles and you really need to eat to build lean muscle. And you're not gonna get bulky, guys. I've been training for like a long time, a long time, and I don't mind putting on muscle and this is as big as I've gotten. And I probably look bigger because I just got a pump, right? In real life, I just look pretty normal, I'm not gonna lie. The one thing I want to talk about is like, we always skip or we skip or we had a bad week, we had a bad week. Well, when do you make it up? Never, like that's, you never make it up. So people are never making it up and I don't want you to feel guilty and have to like feel bad and do more. But you know, sometimes it's okay to maybe do extra movement if you did less movement, if that makes sense. I could have totally not done the third set and be like, hey, I got in two sets, that's pretty good but I know that I've been skipping a little bit too much lately. So if I want to kind of step it up, I can't cut those corners. I have to make sure I put in a little extra work. But when you really want to see results, you got to find a way to make it work. You got to find a way to make it work. So is it an extra walk? Is it doing a little bit, an extra set? Is it not skipping your third or fourth weight training in the week? Maybe doing an extra one, maybe a fourth weight training because you've only done two the last couple weeks. But if you're trying to step it up, get more results, you need to actually step it up. You need to actually not cut corners. You need to actually fuel your body, eat throughout the day, because if you're under eating, your body's not gonna give you the energy to perform as much as you need to in the gym, right? Eat real foods, carbs are amazing, protein's amazing, fat's amazing, fuel your body. <laughs> Get your workouts in, train hard. You know when it's a hard workout. Can you go up in weight? Can you get deeper in your lifts? And I swear, if you do this consistently over time, you will see results, but it's not gonna happen overnight, especially if you're not on top of it for, you know, if you're only on top of it for a week or two, it's not gonna happen. I feel like I'm rambling. You see, I'm supposed to be stretching, and instead, oh, I'm talking. I'm just gonna lay here. Okay, I'm gonna stretch and try to stop talking.